Welcome to Gleaner South. This is our new building here in Taylor that we are getting ready to do some renovations and hopefully move into in the next few months. Now we are inside the building. We are in the main office and cubicle area. The original building was built in 1969 and um, was purchased sometime around 2002 by Dairy Fresh. They used the building until 2017. In total, with warehouse and office, the building is 181,000 square feet. About 25,000 feet of it is office area for our team to use. Welcome to our dispatch office. As you can see behind me, we have a door straight out into the warehouse. This is gonna be an area where we will have both receiving and our dispatch team. They have very large windows that you can see out into the dock area so they can easily talk to cleaners drivers or any outside drivers. We will be doing some renovations in this area to make it fit our team's needs. Uh, but we do believe we'll be able to fit everyone we need and they'll have close proximity to the warehouse. We are now standing in our refrigerated dock area. And what that means is we'll be able to cool this whole space um, down to 50 degrees. So we'll be able to hold produce that we currently just have in our regular warehouse as well as stage orders for the truck. Docks. Compared to Cleaners Detroit right now, this building has 25 truck level docks, so we'll be able to get all the trucks in that we need to. In comparison also to our Detroit facility, this building is two times larger. So not only um, do we have our office space, but we have 156,000 square feet of warehouse with more than enough dry, refrigerated, and frozen capacity, as well as docks to sustain our current 80 million plus pounds of annual distributions. All right, we are in dry storage too. In this area, you'll see right behind me where there's racking for charging stations. We'll be able to use uh, that racking to put all our charger for our forklifts, our rider pallet jacks. Uh, there's plenty of room for all that. This will also be the wall where we'll have two balers to be able to recycle all the cardboard that we are using in the building. On top of that, as we are panning, we have 43,000 square feet of empty space that we can utilize for whatever purpose we need. We'll possibly be uh, packing boxes with our team for our school programs, and then also area for extra staging if needed. And we do anticipate that we'll probably, I don't know if we are planning on it right now, we will need Zambonis to make sure the space is clean. Uh, we'll make sure we have the correct equipment and the large empty spaces so we're not having to walk everywhere. As you can see, it goes back about 300 feet to the back of the room. We are in the racking area for in dry storage too. There are approximately 918 locations to put pallets. This area will be primarily utilized for bulk storage, such as the TFAP that comes in, as well as a specific storage for the school food mobile and the emergency mobile needs. Uh, plenty of racking space for us to utilize, and as you'll see later when we get to dry storage one, this is only part of the dry storage we have in the building. Welcome to the cooler. This cooler is 29,000 square feet. That's approximately 16, 16 times larger than what we currently have in Detroit. We plan to only utilize about 
of the capacity of this freezer, which is around 2,000 pallet spaces, which leaves us a lot of room and flexibility to grow in the future. This will allow us to bring in all types of produce, hold all the milk and dairy products we need, again, as well as be flexible in uh, taking donations or anything that comes across Misty or Greg's desks. We are now entering the freezer. It is 23,000 square feet. To put that in perspective, that is four times larger than the space we currently have in Detroit. We have about 1,500 pallet spaces within this area. We anticipate only using around 933. Again, giving us a lot of options and capacity for growth in this area. And then it'll also alleviate the fact that we are currently storing frozen at two different storage facilities off-site of our Detroit campus. This will allow us to consolidate all our freezer items into one building. All right, we are now in dry storage one. This area holds approximately 1,200 pallets. We will be utilizing this full space and it will allow us to consolidate our current operations at Lutheran Brothers, as well as the emergency mobiles that have been operating out of Warren and the picking operations that are in Detroit. It will also alleviate us from having to move over one and a half million pounds per month of inventory between warehouses. As I said, we will be picking our orders here. However, we will not have any agency pickups at this location. Those orders will either be delivered or shipped to Detroit or Pontiac or our other Taylor location in Livingston for agency pickups. Cleaner South Building also has a repack room. This room is approximately 880 square feet compared to Warren, which is at 675 square feet. We will be upgrading the room to make sure it's up to our standards, but we'll, this will give us the ability to be able to repack any bulk items that come in, such as cereal, frozen, or uh, pasta that we have packed in Warren in the past. New to Gleaners is the ammonia system. This system is different than the way we currently rock, operate any of our coolers and freezers at our current buildings. They are all run on Freon. Because of the very large cooler and freezer that we now have, the ammonia system is more economical to cool down those large spaces. It holds around 9,500 pounds of ammonia. We will be contracting a maintenance company to um, help support us in this system and come do routine maintenance check on it. But this system will be extremely economical for us to run the very large cooler, freezer, and refrigerated dock that we now have in the building. All right, this, we have a very, very large open space. Uh, we do plan on to keep this an open space. It allows us a room for to have large team meetings, as well as if we do bring in volunteers into this building um, to go to the repack room, it would eventually be a space where volunteers might be able to get to meet and get oriented. Uh, there will be slight upgrades to the carpet as well as to the ceiling tiles, but other than that, we, we will be leaving the space as is. And now we're back to the office space. So we are at the other end of the office space where we have minimal res uh, renovations that need to happen. First of all, we will be behind me to my left. We will be creating a break area for the team that is in this building. We are very fortunate that this building came with plenty of offices and cubicles that we can reuse. It allows us enough to be able to house the team that will be coming here. Other minimal renovations that will be done to this area is just some cosmetic things, carpet, ceiling, um, as well as we do have to do a few things to make the building ADA compliant. 
which will be mean renovating the men's and women's main bathrooms, as well as widening some of the doors so we can make sure anyone that comes in uh, onto our team that may or may not be in a wheelchair has access to all the areas they need access to. And there you have it. That's the new Gleaner South building. Thank you for coming on the tour with me today. We hope to start construction in the next couple of weeks with us able to get into the building sometime in early summer. And that'll give everyone the chance to come over and visit our new building.